de boezemattentaat, or breast action, which marked Adorno's last public performance, is a not very well known event outside of Germany. To fully understand it, here's a small introduction. At the end of the 60s, Adorno and Horkheimer, the grand old men of the German intellectual left, saw their lectures heckled, their institute occupied, and their own students turned against them. In a moment of despair during the student occupation of the institute in January 1969, Adorno called the police. Students were outraged at his betrayal. Adorno as institution is dead, declared a flyer distributed by a radical group of sociology students in April of that year. On April 22, 1969, shortly after the beginning of a lecture in his course on dialectical thought, before an audience of nearly 1,000 students at the University of Frankfurt, Adorno found himself in an unusual situation. A student in one of the back rows interrupted him, demanding that he engage in self-criticism for having called the police to clear the Institute of Occupiers several months earlier. Another student silently walked up to the blackboard and wrote the following words. He who only allows dear Adorno to rule will uphold capitalism his entire life. After Adorno told the class that they would have five minutes to decide if his lecture should continue, three female students dressed in leather jackets rushed to the podium. They showered him with roses exposed their breasts and tried repeatedly to kiss him. Incensed and humiliated, Adorno stormed out of the lecture hall. It meant his last public performance. Four months later, he died of a heart attack.